Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome to part two of our weekly Bible encounter. I'm so glad to share this opportunity with you and to have this blessed privilege to share God's word and communicate it to you in a short, concise, and yet simple way. But it is designed to whet your appetite. Make sure whatever you do that you go and grab the free PDF handouts that accompany this teaching. This teaching alone is not going to really give you the empowerment that you will get once you actually get access to the PDF handouts, the uh, little ebook that goes along with it, and all of the questions that can help you develop your thought, your theory, and your theology as you go through this Bible study with me. So again, this video is designed, of course, to be short, quick, and to the point but it is also designed for you to be able to probe deeper and really study the Word of God as you learn about the love of God in this particular series. Welcome to, the, to this broadcast. Welcome to this time of fellowship. Welcome to this study of the scriptures. And again, if you're here for the first time, please indicate in the comment section. Let us know where you're viewing from. So today we're going to move on to part two which is entitled A Question for Jesus. And we're going to be looking at the gospel according to Matthew. So go ahead and grab your Bible or your favorite app as we journey to the scriptures. Matthew chapter number 22, verse number 35 through verse number 40 reads as such. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him, that's Jesus, a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all of the law and all of the prophets. You know, Jesus is and was a genius, particularly as it related to communicating his word to people. And in this particular scenario, there were those there who were present who were trying to challenge his identity and his authority because of his claim of being the son of God and God literally in the flesh. And they wanted to challenge Jesus's knowledge really of the writings of Moses, not understanding that he is the foundation of Moses, that he is the written and living word all embodied in flesh in their times. And so when they questioned Christ about trying to figure out exactly which commandment is more important than another, all of the laws, 430 or so, commandments in the law of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, all of them were significant to the Jewish population. And so when these lawyers are, are asking, they're literally trying to trip Jesus up. But watch how masterful he handles this. Jesus said to them, hey, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. The second of this is that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And then Jesus says everything from the law to the prophets, which was all they had in their hands or possession at that time, was all based upon these two, that we must first of all love God with everything we have, our heart, mind, and soul, all of us. And then secondly, we must love our neighbors ourselves. You see, what Jesus was really trying to help them understand is that it is impossible to love God without loving people. And that it is impossible to love people without truly loving God. And it's our love for God that flows into and personifies in our love for people. You can always tell a person's love for God by how much or how little they show love for people. And that's kind of what Jesus was saying in a nutshell. You see, sometimes Jesus taught with parables and stories, which the hearer would need to interpret. And it's so powerful how he used a parable which would need to be interpreted to lawyers who were not lawyers in the sense of Matlock or Perry Mason, 
But these were experts in the law of Moses in interpretation and application. They had been trained rabbinically, so they knew what the words said. They just didn't know the word, capital W-R-D, who was standing there telling them what the word says. And so there would be an interpretation necessary even for them. But then there would be other times that Christ's teachings would be very crystal clear. I mean, readily apparent. There is no getting this twisted kind of situation. And so when we look at this particular scenario, the two greatest commandments are to love. So let's look at these two commandments in depth. So this week, we want to talk about the first of the great commandments, and that is to love God entirely and completely. And of course, the second commandment behind loving God is God is loving toward others, or that we must love others as God does. You see, this kind of love for God and the love that we have for other people, it is literally fundamental to our Christian faith. I mean, you cannot separate one from the other. Our love for God overflows into our love for people. But it all begins literally with God and godliness as our characteristics. So I want you to think about that this week. I want you to think about these two commandments that we must love God and that we must love people. And think about this. How are you doing with your love for God? And is it reflecting in your love for people? People need love. All people need God. You may be the only God someone will see. So make sure that your love that you display For God, it's also on the horizontal because so many people only have a vertical relationship with God and they miss out on the horizontal, which is a relationship of love with people. (laughs) Hey, I told you this was going to be short and to the point and concise, but listen, the message may be compact, but listen, it is complex. And if you apply it to your life, it will accomplish something in you. So as before, I want to lead you in a special prayer. And again, if by chance you're just now checking into the video, make sure you rewind and get the PDF that goes along with this teaching. It'll bless you. It will help you to grow, mature your faith far beyond the time that I have to step in front of a camera. But make sure you access this. All right. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, You have given us your word by which we can know you. Jesus tells us in that word that the greatest commandment is to love you with all our heart, soul, and mind. I confess that I have not loved you with all my heart, soul, and mind. The second great commandment is to love others as I love myself. Remind me constantly of these two great greatest commandments. Teach me what it looks like to love you with all my heart, soul, and mind, and to love my neighbor like I love myself. Hey, we pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I can't wait to take you into part three, where we're going to be talking about God's love for his people. Hey, don't miss it. Make sure you get the free PDF handout. It's going to bless you and add so much to your devotional time as we go through this study. God bless you as always. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you, and we love you.